It's prom season again, but how much do you really know about prom? Prom is a shortened form of the word promenade, meaning a march of guests. If you're interested in where prom start, you have to look back at debutante balls. Debutante balls were some old school thing where a bunch of crazy rich white people got together and tried to hook up their kids. After all, it was a presentation of their children to society. Rich meet rich. Cha-ching! Prom began as a middle-class response to the rich. Well, perhaps that's right. First appearing as early as the late 1800s, proms didn't become widespread until the 1920s or 1930s. The real growth happened in the 1950s as Americans enjoyed increased disposable income in the post-World War II era for such formal affairs. Oh, it sounds neat. Generally, proms had been practiced in American high schools and sometimes in colleges. When you haven't been to an affair like this before, you feel pretty strange. You might even feel uncomfortable. Like debutante balls, proms give young people an easy reason to ask somebody out. Gee, that sounds good. There is a growing trend to go stag. Why don't you just go stag? There is a girl I like. To Why don't you just go stag? So prom is not exclusively a couple's event. Well, what makes you think they look at your clothes? It's formal, all the way. Females often wear long, elegant dresses, and hopefully a unique dress is chosen, as has been exemplified by the modern trend of using Facebook groups to specifically reserve a dress. Oh, mother, I don't know what to think. Because if two girls wear the same dress... <laughs> men generally wear tuxes. The uniqueness, not so much. The word's out. Everybody's going to wear a tux. Well, all I have is a black one. What do you think? Sounds okay. The process of asking somebody to prom can be as simple as a simple phone call. Hello? Hi, Mary. This is Dick. Oh, hi, Dick. How are you? Say, Mary, would you like to go with me? Dick, it sounds great. I'd love to. Or it can be a very elaborate event involving up to hundreds of people involved in the process. That's fine. The prom itself may have a theme or may have special events depending on the school. Oh, it sounds neat. Popular themes include the 1920s Hollywood, Las Vegas, Paris, and masquerade balls. And many may choose a name for the prom based on a song. This is the real thing. Yeah. Some proms may even have special elements that they try to find are uniquely to them. What do you mean? For example, Pensbury High School has a prom parade where seniors arrive on unique vehicles ranging from anything from a fire engine to a dump truck. School here isn't like it was back in Morristown. Regardless, the general prom experience involves formal attire, dancing, and serves as an important social affair and cultural element of American society. Can I have the next dance, please? I'd love to. Now that you know more about prom, you're ready to enjoy the experience. You know that other business we were talking about? Well, I've been following your advice. How about it? You know, Dad, there's a mixer Friday night. Why don't you just go stag? Go find a date. All right, Wally. On Saturday at 5 then. Bye. Find something to wear. Dick, your flowers are just beautiful. They're perfect with my dress. Enjoy the evening. Prom was great. Mm -hmm, it sure was. I had a wonderful time. I had a great time, too. I think it was because of you. And whatever you do, don't screw it up.